once again. Another lot walk. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, we're going to be walking around the car lot, pointing out all the new rides that we got in this week. A few things we need to go over before we start the video. We are going to be closed half of this week. Uh, had a few things go on. We also have a rod run in Pigeon Forge. That's where we go to big car shows and buy a lot of new inventory. Let's shut this door. This is new. Got moved out here to the front row. But yes, also, uh, I wasn't here half the week last week. Um, I don't know how to tell y'all, but you know, I posted a video of a baby reveal. Well, unfortunately, me and my wife went through some traumatic stuff this weekend, and we do not have the baby anymore. So, been a little hard, been rough, but I've been out for a few days, and now we're back. So, I'm also going to take off the rest of this week and just be with my family. Still going to walk around the lot, still going to show you all the new inventory. Y'all sit back, let's get started. Okay, with that being said, we're gonna get started here, guys. You can go to maplemotors.com for financing and shipping. Detailed pictures. Every week we're getting new inventory. And we're gonna start up here in the corner. Right here, we got a big block four-speed Chevelle. This is a 1966 model, and it's priced $39.9. I haven't done any test drives for all the new inventory this week. Like I said, I've been gone uh, since last Tuesday. Right next to that one is a 1967 Oldsmobile Cutlass, priced at $17.9. With that being said, I'm gonna work all day today and tomorrow overtime and try to get all these videos done for you before I leave. Here's another one, 68 Oldsmobile Cutlass, 25.9. And like this one, it's already online. I believe both of these. So you can see the test drive video below and cars currently available. This one here is a 55 Bel Air. It's priced at $31.9. I've already sold this one. It was a 57 210. They had it priced at $36.9. Same with this one here. With it being a short update, we put eight cars on instead of 10 to 15. This one also sold. It's still sitting on the front row. But we also sold, I think, 15 cars last week. So do the math there. We're only putting eight on, took 15 off. A little low this week. Do have plenty of cars available, but with it being a short week, we didn't want to put on, you know, a full update. Like I said, we'll be closed from Wednesday on. So if you're trying to come up here, you can walk the lot, but there won't be anybody here. We're going to car shows. All right, sitting up here in the front, we got, what is this, an 80 model T-top Corvette? Yep, at 15.9. We got four Mustangs in a row here. This one here is a 67 model Ford Mustang convertible, priced at 27.9. Before we go to the next one, let's let these guys out. That truck is available as well. It's 15.9. You can see we use it all the time. I think the guys are just going to lunch down the road. Next in line is a 65 Mustang convertible, and this one's priced at $32.9. In silver, a 66 Ford Mustang convertible. This one's also priced $32.9. 
Next to that is a 68 model Ford Mustang. This was priced at 17 dollars Right up here in the corner, this is a 1969 Pontiac Firebird, priced at $27.9. And next to that is another 68 Pontiac Firebird. Well, this one's a 68, that one's a 69. Hopefully I said 69. This one's priced at 27, or 29.9, I'm sorry guys. Just trying to get back into the groove here. I'll explain a little bit more. Um, I don't want to leave y'all hanging with the craziness that we've been going through with the family here. Um, nothing to do with the lot, just me and my wife, but I will stay involved with y'all. I will keep doing these test drives. We've got the rest of the car lot to walk through and check out. And I guess towards the end of the video, I'll explain a little bit more. In the situation if y'all are interested in that i do appreciate all the support i'm not looking for sympathy it's just uh just letting you know i'm a little behind right now all right let's go in the showroom i always advertise this room because it is it's really cool it's it's pretty awesome it's right next door to maple motors you can see all the inventory in here jim fights hot wheels channel here on youtube Jim Fights Hot Wheels channel on Instagram. Jim Fights Hot Wheels channel on TikTok. I think you get the gist. Also, if you come into the lot, just go see Pops at the desk in the main office. Say, show me your collectibles. Or right next door. All right, let's head on back out there to the lot. So off in the showroom, we do got a few things that are going home with us in the back here. Those three cars are going home. Uh, some of the guys here picked these up and they're just not for sale. So your Corvette's not for sale, your uh, Mustang and your Corvette over here is not for sale, it's going home. This one already sold, but I wanna show you some stuff that is available in the showroom right now. And that's the 63 Corvette convertible. This has got a built motor with a Fitech setup super nice and it's priced at 42 nine um, this was one of the last videos that I got done last week because uh, found out everything on last Tuesday and I didn't actually get to put the video together until this morning so sorry about that like I said I am behind at the moment and I know it uh, this one here is a 1941 Willie's coupe priced at 44 nine I'm honestly surprised this hasn't sold. This car is really nice. You know we always got to keep a fastback on the lot. And this one's priced at $42.9. I don't know anything about it yet because I'm going to have to test drive it first thing today. It's from 1965. It looks like it's an automatic aftermarket set of Voss wheels. But I'll be going over it in detail today. So you'll see a video come out. Disc brakes in the front. Should be a pretty good ride. I'll decode the motor for you as well. If you haven't already, there's merchandise that you can pick up on our website at maplemotors.com along with tapestry just like this big one on the wall. Okay, we're walking up here. This one's going to be an easy test drive. There's uh, 33,000 miles on this Challenger. It's priced 20900 There's detailed pictures on our website too. But this one's from 2010 with 33,000 miles. That's not bad. Pretty sweet looking Challenger. So we get turned around here on the porch. Purple Nova with the roses. I'm surprised it's sitting here. When I left last Tuesday, I thought this car would be gone. It's from 1972. I haven't checked the board fully to see if it's on hold yet. But it, uh, it's got a big block. I believe it's 454, priced at 29.9. And then this one, it's kind of the same scenario. I just don't understand. 1968 AMC AMX. Everybody's been asking for one of these to come through the lot. This one's fast, priced at $27.9. You don't ever see those. We're gonna walk on over here. You got the 1967 Dodge D100. It's got the Hemi motor. 24 9 
She set up like a gasser. And of course, I know everybody loves these Chevelles. This is another one. I've got three cars in mind that I'm going to try to, for 100%, get done today. And this is one of them. 1971 Chevy Chevelle, priced at $36,900. Okay. I'm going to walk the row here. Yeah, we're just going to have to double down next week when we do our update. And uh, restock the lot. We'll probably do 10 to 15 cars next week as well. This one is a 2002 GMC Sonoma air ride suspension all the way around, high dollar setup. Um, they, they went ahead and started doing some paint work on it. Ended up stopping and going with this style because they admired it. It's an aftermarket set of Riddler's disc brakes, priced at 10 9 Next to that is a 1972 C10 pickup truck. This one's priced at $23,900. Right next to that is this is new to the website 65 C10 price at 27.9. Oh, I think we put this one on last week. That's right. It's fairly new, about a week old. This one for sure went on today. I haven't test drove it at all. It's a 74 Plymouth satellite. I'll have to decode the motor. Uh, I do all that myself. Um, once I do the test drive videos. This one's priced $19.9. I know a lot of y'all are like, oh, you should tell all the motors in these walk-arounds. Well, to memorize 60 different cars a month and do that on repeat, it's fairly difficult. This one, 1970 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. This one's priced $19.9. Yeah, we're always getting new stuff in. And if you want to know the motor size, you can look on our website, maplemotors.com, or watch the individual test drive test drive videos that we put out online next to that 1975 Chevy Impala this one's 17.9 yeah so we always have details on everything like, like I said it's just hard to memorize all the motors <laughs> as many different cars that we get in another big thing is uh, I haven't been here so I'm having to decode these motors as I go today. Unless we're all family, unless my uncle done it for us while I was gone. Sometimes he gets to. And then I can go in there and look on a sheet and he's already got all the numbers. I love when he does that. Saves me a lot of time. <laughs> I wanna walk the lot one more time, make sure I didn't forget nothing. Uh, we can look in the sold bay and see what I've missed, honestly, since I've been gone. We are a family business, 40 years. All the social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. And of course, here on YouTube, you'll be able to see all the full test drives going over the flaws. Again, next week, or this week, we're going to be closed next week. We're going to be a full week. So past Wednesday, if you expect to buy a car, nobody will be here. Make sure to call, make sure to check the website so that doesn't happen to you. Big reason why we're closed, we're going to the car show. I said that at the beginning. That's where we buy a lot of our inventory. It's springtime, you'll see a lot of that happening. And of course in springtime they sell pretty fast, so we gotta buy more than normal to stay in business. Let's go ahead and look out back. Um, still gonna walk across over there. I wanna make sure I didn't miss nothing. So yeah, everything out back is already sold. This is the sold bay. Just kind of glancing through. You've seen some of this stuff from the previous weeks. This is the spot where they sit until they get shipped out. Oh, Monte Carlo and Blazer. I guess they picked up a lot of them. 
already. I know all the trucks that we had here are gone. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good lot walk. I know we're, uh, I think there's almost 30 cars available on the website. Typically, we'll keep 35 to 40. But like I said, we did a small update. We're having a lot going on. We've got car shows to go to. We're going to be closed. So it's just a little bit of a short week here. Again, I'm going to go ahead and do all the test drives. Eight cars I have to test drive, hopefully in the next two days, uh, and build these videos. It's typically about three videos a day when it comes to test drives but i'm gonna push myself a little bit i do appreciate you watching i do appreciate all your support and i hope y'all understand why i'm behind i told you i would tell you at the end of the video um basically just trying to figure it out how to tell you but yes uh last so last tuesday uh, did a baby appointment with my wife typical baby appointment where you go in they do the ultrasounds found out um, my son didn't have kidneys there was nothing we could do and it wasn't gonna last very long so that's what I've been dealing with all week um, it's the first time I've ever had anything like that happen it's been kind of traumatic it's not uh, not something you easily deal with for all the people that have been through it out there I'm very sorry it's definitely something I never imagined I would have to go through. And hopefully you understand that's why I'm behind here. Uh, again, I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm not asking for phone calls or tons of emails. You can leave comments below. I'll read all your comments uh, just to save everybody the time. Don't email me about it or call me, please. But yes, keeping busy, that definitely helps. So I got a lot to do today. I'm going to go ahead and get these test drives done for you. And again, thanks guys. See you in the next video.